Elliot 7130. You know what? You probably hear me saying Elliot 7130. But when you look at my when you look at my channel name, you notice it says Bird Dog. Let me tell you why I say Bird Dog. One day I was on Google Plus. I'm on Google Plus and I see this thing. It says change your name right here. Right? So I click it and I change the name. And I notice, okay, I save, I click save on the change. And the next thing you know, I was like, oh man, I spelled it wrong. So I go back in there and I change it again. And when I tried to change it back to what it was, because I just wanted to see if I could change the name. I didn't really want to change the name. So when I clicked it to try to change it again, it told me I can't change it back. Like, oh man, you got to be kidding. So now it's telling me because of some security reasons and they have people making fake accounts or whatever, you're only allowed to change your name a couple of times? Well, I guess I hit that threshold because right now, I am Bird Dog. That's kind of sweet. I got it all worked out. But you can see this big reservoir. And so I decide I'm going to go ahead and fly over there. And it's a pretty good flight. So I get up and I take it up to about 350, 350 feet, sort of on the way over there. And I fly around the reservoir, got some shots, and really didn't turn out the way I was wanted to. So I kind of went a little lower, maybe about 200 feet. Did not want to go too much lower because I didn't want to lose my telemetry. Because where I'm standing, I have a really high tree line anyway. So if I would have dipped the drone under the tree line, I really could have lost. And I just didn't want to go through that. So I takes off over there and really nice flight, nice, you know, view. Same old thing though, I'm always at the same spot, kind of bored with it, so I did not stay over there long. But I look down and I see these cars and they're doing this little, you know, got this little speed chase thing and I'm thinking, oh wow, I can, I can dress that up, maybe I can motion track the shot, maybe add some 3D elements in the shot, you know, maybe a spaceship, just just thinking, wow, I can do something with this. But got kind of bored with it, so I brought the drone back up. But it's probably 200 feet up in the air. And no, it's about 250 feet in the air. And I turn and I look in the north sky and I see this small airplane coming to the drone. He's probably about a thousand feet away from the drone and he's flying very low he's probably about 250 feet right 250 feet the drone is about 250 feet and he's closing in on the drone okay what do I do do I take the drone up and he kind of does this little maneuver thing to where he went up and over a little and he avoided bashing the drone and I'm thinking what the heck is this plane doing flying so low why is he in my space I'm out there trying to be super careful so now after I'm finished my heart attack and my, my panic then kind of settled in I, I kind of bring the drone back down and then I'm thinking, oh man, let me look at the footage real quick to see if I can see the plane coming towards the drone. As you can see on the video, my camera was pointing down because I was just recording that reservoir. But that was pretty, uh, pretty intense moment. My heart rate was up, my adrenaline was up, and just, you know, hey, all I can say is be careful when you out there flying because <laughs> obviously it's not just us out there flying 
That's going to do it for this one. Talk to you later.